And new at five, a man who killed his wife and son and also shot his attorney learned today how he will pay for that crime. But before he learned his fate, he had one last request. CBS 4's Ted Scouten is live at the Metro Justice Building in Miami with what he wanted. Ted. Hi, Vanessa. Well, that defendant told the judge that he was uh, taking a plea to spare his family as well as his victims and their families a painful, long trial. Then he went on to say that he wants to make a religious pilgrimage before he dies in prison. 14 years in Florida, working seven days to give my family the American dream. Fidel Jabato goes to court ready to say he's guilty of killing his wife Basima and their adult son Ahmed and that he shot Kendall attorney Larry Harshman five times and shot at two police officers. Before entering his plea, he makes an odd request. He wants the judge to allow him to get out of prison when he's in his mid-70s so he can go on a pilgrimage to Mecca. If God willing the Almighty Allah give us life, you know, 76, I will, I will like to, you know, allow me to go to pilgrimage. You're not getting out of his life. Instead, the judge tells him to wait until after his sentence. If you're asking me as a person of faith, yes, as a person of faith, I do believe that in the next life, you will see Allah, you will see the Prophet. But you've got to count on that. You can't make that a factor of, I'm going to go to have a pilgrimage to Mecca at some point. Then the judge explained Jabato will spend the rest of his life in prison. As part of your plea, it's mandatory day for day for the rest of your life. Harshman and his family did not show up for sentencing and said his wife had prosecutors read a letter. She reiterated what she told CBS 4 News months ago, that she was stunned when she heard Jabato was the man who pulled the trigger. He was a previous client that Larry saved his home right. and for free, and the guy was very happy. With that, the judge handed down the sentence. We're now going to sentence you to life in prison. Another part of that sentence uh, says that he will have no contact with any of his surviving victims or their family. He also requests that he be kept separate from the general population in prison. Live in Miami, Ted Scout, CBS 4 News.